Despite facing resistance from my family, I pursue my dream of studying abroad in the United States. Since arriving, I have worked hard to demonstrate my abilities. Everyone and everything here has transformed my whole sense of self. Rather than simply following my family's expectations, I have discovered my ambitions and have been striving to achieve them. When I came to the Watson Institute, I had so many goals and dreams. None of them was focused on creating connections and relationships, but they were the catalysts that made my dreams a reality. While creating connections and relationships, I learned to perfect my public speaking and research skills. Today, I've been able to present at the Florida Undergraduate Research Conference, offered a TEDx talk, and created a video curriculum to empower young girls in my country, Cameroon. My journey as a social change agent shall continue at Columbia University. Today, I thank the Watson Institute, Lean University, and my classmates for the lessons and experiences. Twenty twenty was the hardest year of my life. Before this year, I didn't think that mental health was really a thing, and it never posed a problem for me. In the beginning of twenty twenty, my grandfather passed away. I was going through issues in my household environment, and COVID kept me inside and away from what I really love, and that's people. And that took a toll on me so much so that I attempted to take my life twice during that year. If it wasn't for finding my value and the importance of self care in my life, I probably wouldn't be here right now. Self care saved my life. And now I use my story to inspire others and let people know that they aren't alone. People who struggled like I did. Since moving to South Florida and being on my own and experiencing different ups and downs, I've been able to create a safe environment for myself through routines that make me feel at peace and comfortable. Being a remote student in Nigeria for half of my Watson journey was challenging, especially coming from a community where there has been no electricity for the last 20 years. I took classes on phone throughout midnight because of the time difference, in which Nigeria is about six to seven hours behind. And at some point, I had visa issues, which actually made it look as if I was never going to make it to the United States. I felt so far left behind in class, friendships, and community. When I finally arrived in the US, I felt so welcome by my peers, where I played cash up on many different things. If I need to summarize three keywords of my experiences in the past three years, I will say experiential learning, self-exploration, and talent development. I used to join many leadership and self-development programs and have several experiences in company that focus on helping teenagers find their passions and values. Those experiences constantly rebuild my understanding of the world and deepen my self-awareness. And I believe that self is something that cannot be seen. You need to bump into something and bounce back. Then you will understand who you are and what you like. Thanks to the Watson Institute, I was able to build a successful career. My first year at the university didn't go the way I planned. Failure after failure, my mind was not in the right place. It was thanks to the Watson Institute and their amazing community programs that I was able to connect with Jerry Hildebrand, my mentor at the time. He was the first one to believe in me as a young professional, connecting me with amazing people which led to successful work opportunities such as the Hispanic Entrepreneur Initiative. Today, I stand proud of what I have accomplished. Thank you, Watson, family, partner, and Jerry for helping planting the seed. A big part of what I do is that I'm currently a news anchor at iPulse Live, where every other Friday I get to be on camera and tell stories about what's going on around the world and be a tiny part of people's stories. Having Aliyah as my mentor has been the best thing. She's been there to listen to all my victories, my failures, and my learning moments. She has challenged me to look things from multiple perspectives and has always stood by me in every decision I made. She's helped me grow as a person and I look forward to how this relationship will evolve. She truly is my role model. I came to America for college, but Watson turned out to be more than just college. Many would agree that the U.S. is a difficult country, but easier does not mean happier. It took me to fail three ventures to create the Mini Mike initiative that I enjoy wholeheartedly. 
It took me two years to save up for my first car and six different states to discover the beauty of American culture. I once saw a quote, Discipline is liberation. It means being so committed and so fully contained that you can let go, so deeply connected that you can detach, so strong that you can be gentle. My family is everything to me. Throughout my life, I've moved countries, cities, schools, and what has always been there for me has been my family. So coming to study in a whole different country away from them has not been easy. I'm so grateful for all the sacrifices my parents have made to make my dream possible. But living my dream doesn't make the distance or daily video calls any easier to handle. A lot of people take for granted the struggles of studying abroad and moving away from your home. Every phone call we have gets a smile on my face and fills me up with energy to keep going. Thanks to my parents, I grew up to be the person I am today. Graduating college is an amazing achievement that I dedicate to them. I truly wouldn't have been able to do it without them. Thank you for being my constant support and for always believing in me even when I didn't believe in myself. If I could describe my Watson journey with one word, it would definitely be growth. I came here as a shy, introverted girl that was extremely scared of driving. With each year, each class, each a heart, each new friend, I was able to grow into the person I never thought I could be. Now, I drive every day to school, have collaborative projects with my friends, and experience wonderful opportunities that I would never thought I could do. I'm more comfortable with who I am thanks to the place that allowed me to be myself and find ways to embrace everything I represent in my work and in the impact I have in the world. For me, basketball was everything. I grew up in Raleigh, North Carolina, and started playing basketball when I was just seven years old. I played year-round, traveling across the U.S., and was the first girl to ever hit a thousand points at my high school and was even ranked third in the state. My parents supported me through everything. Before every game, I looked in the stands and always saw them there. Fourteen years later, I came to Lynn and continued playing basketball until I realized it was time for me to pivot in my career, leading to something bigger. After much support, I decided to stop playing. The ball might have stopped bouncing, but the memories, support, and people never will. Basketball will always hold a special place in my heart and has shaped me into the woman I am today. My mom and I came to this country when I was four years old, and for a while I grew up in this tiny two-bedroom house that we shared with my abuela and my uncles and my dad. And although that this was such a small and tiny home, I grew up in a home bigger and boundless because of the light and love that was created for me. Everything has never been impossible and everything has been achievable. Porque todo tiene solución y todo se puede. And my family has been the wind beneath my wings allowing me to fly freely and seek my passions, my goals, and my dreams. Entonces, cuando me vean volar, recuerden que ustedes me pintaron las alas. I ended up in this program because Jerry did a good final job selling it to me when I first met him in Ghana. It felt like a space that honored people like me who knew how to get things done, whatever it is that I decide to do. He sold it to me as a place where people who aren't just good at passing tests get their flowers. I got here and realized that he and the program were the difference and that the system wasn't necessarily different. He died within less than three months of my being here. I feel angry sometimes, like he brought me into this place and left me. He knew I didn't like being in places that only regard and reward test passes, but I made peace with it. He was a light and a difference, and for a short while, he gave me the chance to experience the kind of person that I would want to be one day. Thank you.